Welcome to the fitting room, where naturally enough, we are fitting together the pieces the cutters created. Dozens of experienced, skilled hands sew one piece to another, proudly building a red wing boot. In fact, building some red wing boots requires over 120 hand operations. In the fitting room alone, there are often 30 steps. It's a logical path we follow, but at first it's hard to tell what's happening. Think of it as building a kit. You put the subassemblies together first and then join them into larger parts. Let's start here. A label, including the size, is sewn onto a gusset, which is the soft piece of leather under the laces. Some parts get die marked to guide the sewing done later. And some get trimmed. That's called skiving. She's cutting a bevel on the edge. Here, she's attaching a liner for the toe. Notice that part of it isn't glued? That's so the steel toe can be inserted later. Here's the beginning of a heel being assembled. This computer-controlled stitching is sewing quarters to counters. Here's what it looks like on the eventual boot. Dozens of people join this piece to that one, and soon you can recognize parts of your boots. See that stitch? That's Puritan triple stitching. It's one of the things that makes Red Wings just plain better. Stitching is very freeform handwork that takes a great deal of eye-hand coordination. We assemble the gusset and attach the eyelets. And finally, we attach gusset and vamp. This is called gusset stitching. And then your Red Wing is ready for lasting, the next department. Built to fit, built to last. Red Wing Shoes.